The Philippines, an archipelago in Southeast Asia, is a land of contrasts and potential. From its bustling urban centers to its tranquil beaches, the country has always fascinated visitors and investors alike. Geographically situated between the vast Pacific Ocean and the South China Sea, the Philippines is comprised of over 7,641 islands, making it the world's third largest archipelago. Nestled between giants such as China to the northwest and Indonesia to the south, it stands as a crucial gateway for trade, diplomacy, and cultural exchange in the ASEAN region. With a population of over 112 million as of 2023, the Philippines is not just one of the most populous countries in the region, but also one of the youngest. A significant proportion of the population is under 30, providing the nation with a dynamic and youthful workforce. In recent years, the Philippines has become an economic marvel in Southeast Asia. With an average GDP growth rate of 6.0% between 2020 and 2023, it has outpaced many of its neighbors. We are number one in the world in marine biodiversity. We're number one now in call centers. We're number one in seafarers and sailors. We're number two in BPOs, number two in geothermal energy. We have the third or fifth longest coastline. Dubbed the new Asian tiger, the Philippines has demonstrated resilience, adaptability, and a forward momentum that's caught the attention of global investors and economists. But what drives this growth? How has a nation, which once lagged behind its Asian counterparts, surged ahead in the race for development and prosperity? Join us as we delve into the impressive growth rate of the Philippines, unpacking its history, key drivers, challenges, and future prospects. To understand the Philippines' contemporary economic surge, we must journey back in time, tracing its historical footsteps and navigating through centuries of external influences and internal resilience. In the 16th century, the Philippines found itself under Spanish rule, a colonization that would last over 300 years. This period not only influenced the cultural and religious fabric of the nation, but also its economic structure. With a focus on agrarian production for export, primarily abaca, tobacco, and sugar, the Philippines became a significant, albeit subordinate, player in the global trade of the era. The close of the Spanish-American War in 1898 saw the Philippines ceded to the United States. The ensuing American era brought about widespread educational reforms and the promotion of English as the national language, as well as infrastructural advancements. Economically, the nation diversified its exports to include sugar, copra, and rubber. World War II dealt a devastating blow to the Philippines, with the nation suffering heavily under Japanese occupation. Post-war, the Philippines faced the mammoth task of rebuilding its infrastructure and economy, a challenge it met with tenacity and international aid. However, the scars of the war slowed down the pace of its economic progress for several decades. The declaration of martial law under President Ferdinand Marcos in 1972 brought about economic reforms, initially spurring growth. However, crony capitalism, foreign debt accumulation, and political instability led to an economic downturn by the end of the Marcos era. The Philippines' journey from colonial hubs to a nation wrestling with its identity and growth in the post-war era has deeply influenced its economic trajectory. As we delve further into the nation's growth story, Understanding this historical context provides the backdrop against which modern successes shine even brighter. The Philippines is charting an impressive economic trajectory, and this momentum isn't coincidental. I believe the uh, Philippines can be a first world economy by 2050, and that's a forecast of Goldman Sachs and HSBC. Various sectors have been functioning in harmony, pushing the archipelago towards prominence. Let's dissect these pivotal growth drivers. Before we dive deeper, consider joining our creative journey on Patreon. Your support amplifies our mission to deliver top-notch content. Now, let's get back to our discussion. At the heart of the Philippines' economic surge lies the business process outsourcing BPO industry. 
Come 2023, this powerhouse is projected to inject over $40 billion into the nation's financial veins, providing employment to more than 2 million Filipinos. The country's dominance in this sector can be attributed to its vast English proficient populace, adept workforce, and cost-effective labor environment. Tourism stands as another pillar supporting the Philippine economy, with estimates suggesting its contribution to be over 13% of the GDP in 2023 and with international tourists likely to cross the 10 million mark, it's evident that the country's mesmerizing beaches, captivating landscapes, and rich cultural tapestry continue to enchant travelers worldwide. Also, we, of course, the Philippines is such a beautiful country. We're, we're, we're trying to develop uh, also the tourism industry. The unwavering spirit of overseas Filipino workers, OFWs, has been a cornerstone in the country's financial landscape. Remittances from OFWs in 2023 are slated to touch a staggering $35 billion, amounting to about 10% of the nation's GDP. This capital not only anchors families back home, but also fuels economic dynamism. Visionary infrastructure ventures are gearing up to redefine the Philippine skyline. With a budgetary allocation exceeding $100 billion for 2023, projects spanning roadways, bridgeworks, aviation hubs, and railways promise to catalyze further economic expansion. The allure of the Philippine market continues to captivate global investors. Predictions for 2023 indicate that foreign direct investment, FDI, will breach the $10 billion mark, signifying the nation's potential to offer lucrative returns. FDIs invariably usher in job opportunities, technological transfusion, and heightened productivity. Agriculture, the lifeblood of the Philippine economic structure, is undergoing transformative changes. With expectations of it constituting over 10% of the GDP in 2023, governmental thrusts towards modernization and heightened productivity are poised to rejuvenate this sector. In essence, the Philippines isn't just on the rise, it's soaring. One of the main drivers of our push for growth and employment will be in the agricultural sector. The key growth engines elucidated above manifest just a fraction of the country's burgeoning economic prowess. With sustained investments and reforms, the archipelago is not merely securing a spot, but is set to dominate the regional economic theater. A nation's progression is often mapped not just by its intrinsic resources or populace, but by visionary governance steering its course. The Philippines, across recent timelines, has benefited from deliberate governmental strategies that have sculpted its impressive ascent. Discerning the vitality of a business-friendly ambience, the Philippine administration ushered in the Ease of Doing Business Act in 2022. This defining statute simplifies entrepreneurial workflows, wooing domestic and international investors alike. Reflecting its efficacy, the Philippines ascended to the 95th position on the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index by 2023. A beacon of the government's foresight is the Build, Build, Build campaign launched in 2017. With its eyes set on overhauling more than 100 infrastructure facets ranging from transit railways to international airports, this initiative is a nod to modernization, employment surge, and balanced regional upliftment. By 2023, a commendable 70% of the earmarked projects have reached fruition, with the finish line expected by 2025. Agriculture, interwoven into the Filipino ethos, has received its due impetus. The Philippine Rural Development Project is the government's pledge to rural expanses, endowing them with advanced infrastructure, novel technologies, and research pathways. This approach has catalyzed farming profitability and is a step towards curbing rural poverty. The pivotal Train Law, Tax Reform for Acceleration and Inclusion, unveiled in 2018 has reshaped the fiscal arena. With its objective of instituting a more equitable and streamlined tax mechanism, it channels funds towards societal amenities and infrastructural projects. Consequently, the train law has optimized tax levies for the lower and middle echelons, while amplifying it for the affluent individuals and business conglomerates. The Philippine economy is driven mostly by domestic demand. Okay? And so, we, although there's a global health, health headwind uh, with the 
it does not affect us too much. Mm. Internationally, the Philippines hasn't shied away from forging meaningful alliances. As an integral cog of ASEAN, the nation reaps the benefits of the ASEAN free trade area, AFTA, accentuating trade and investment avenues. Additionally, accords like the Philippines European Free Trade Association, IFTA, and the Philippines-Japan Economic Partnership Agreement, PIEPA, have broadened the trade vista, seeding mutual prosperity. In the grand tapestry of the Philippines' upward trajectory, astute policymaking, unwavering governance, and a zeal for comprehensive development are the threads binding it. As the nation scales new peaks, these strategies remain its trusted beacons. Every ascent encounters its obstacles, and the Philippines is no exception. Despite its laudable achievements, the nation has confronted multifaceted challenges. Addressing these matters is paramount for continuous, equitable progress. Positioned within both the Pacific Ring of Fire and the Typhoon Belt, the Philippines is frequently at the receiving end of nature's wrath. Annually, the archipelago contends with an average of 20 typhoons, alongside earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. To mitigate these adversities, investments have been channeled into advanced warning systems, durable infrastructure, and community-centric training modules. Spearheading these efforts is the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council, NDRRMC, ensuring a cohesive disaster response strategy. While remnants of past political unrest, particularly from the martial law era, linger, the nation's contemporary political landscape is not without its rifts. Yet, the backbone of democratic processes, the vigor of civil society activism, and an unfettered media have been instrumental in steering the nation. The country prides itself on its history of democratic polls, with the present government being a product of such democratic legitimacy. An autonomous media and a pulsating civil society sector further reinforce this democratic ethos. Despite the growth graph's upward movement, the dividends of progress remain inequitably distributed. The government's counteractive measures, like the four Ps, Pontawid, Pamel Young, Pilipino Program, aim at direct cash transfers conditioned upon beneficiaries fulfilling certain prerequisites, such as ensuring their children's education and consistent healthy valuations. Legacy debts from overseas and a heightened sensitivity to global financial fluctuations persist as economic challenges. Yet, through sound financial governance, debt reconfiguration, and economic diversification, the nation strives for a robust economic backbone. Strategic endeavors are underway to lessen the external debt load and diminish reliance on export-led growth. Concurrently, measures are in place to refine fiscal management and facilitate debt reorganization, ensuring long-term stability. Unchecked rapid progress can invariably strain ecological resources. Predicaments like rampant deforestation and burgeoning urban pollution have emerged as environmental stress points. Proactive responses, such as the temporary shutdown and subsequent rehabilitation of the iconic Boracay Island, underscore the nation's commitment to ecologically responsible tourism. Other commendable initiatives encompass the reforestation program targeting the reclamation of forested landscapes and the Clean Air Act aiming for breathable urban atmospheres. In the grand narrative of a nation's evolution, challenges often become the milestones of its resilience. Through adaptive strategies and an indomitable spirit, the Philippines not only confronts its challenges, but also harnesses them as catalysts for transformation and fortified growth. To truly grasp the nuances of the Philippines' growth trajectory, it's imperative to juxtapose it within the larger regional tableau. Here's a comparative breakdown. By 2023, the Philippines boasts one of the premier GDP growth rates within the ASEAN ambit, registering an impressive 7.6%. This overshadows the ASEAN collective average, which sits at 5.5%. Multiple catalysts fuel this growth, encapsulating robust domestic consumption, unwavering remittances from the overseas Filipino diaspora, and a swelling tide of foreign investments. For this year, what matters is really domestic consumption, and that is what the Philippines has. For that reason, I think 2023 will be rather good for the Philippines compared to the rest of the region. Tourism, too, sees the Philippines surging ahead. Clocking over 10 million tourists in 2023, the nation ranks as the sixth most frequented destination in Southeast Asia. 
The Philippines' allure lies in its pristine beaches, mesmerizing landscapes, and a culture steeped in history. To further enhance this sector, the government has embarked on strategic investments in tourism-centric infrastructures like airports and hospitable accommodations. Infrastructure emerges as another frontier of progress. The government's commitment to this is evident in its 2023 allocation of a staggering $100 billion to infrastructural endeavors, encompassing roads, bridges, and transit systems. This aligns with the larger Build, Build, Build vision which envisages an infrastructural renaissance as a precursor to economic expansion. However, income disparities remain an Achilles' heel. The Gini coefficient, a barometer of income inequality, for the Philippines hovers at 42.2, a figure that exceeds the ASEAN average of 38.7. To bridge this chasm, the government has rolled out welfare initiatives. In the realm of foreign direct investment, the Philippines is increasingly on the global radar. 2023 saw FDI inflows surpassing $10 billion, a figure that trumps the ASEAN mean of $8 billion. To keep this momentum, the government is proactively refining the investment milieu and extending incentives to woo foreign capital. In conclusion, this comparative lens elucidates the Philippines' areas of dominance and those of potential enhancement. Yet given its current momentum and latent capabilities, the Philippines is charting a course towards a luminous future, both as an independent entity and within the ASEAN narrative. As we gaze into the horizon, what does the future hold for the Philippines? Let's delve into the projections and the possibilities. Experts have a largely optimistic outlook on the Philippines. By 2030, the nation is expected to join the ranks of upper-middle-income countries with steady GDP growth projected at around 5-7% to annually, given its current momentum and underlying fundamentals. Infrastructure continues to be a focus area. Beyond the Build, Build, Build program, plans for expansive railway networks, upgraded ports, and sustainable urban centers are already on the drawing board, promising to reshape the country's topography. The Philippines is also betting big on technology and innovation. With increasing investments in digital infrastructure and fostering startup ecosystems, it aims to be a significant player in the ASEAN digital economy. Global events like the anticipated ASEAN integration and potential free trade agreements are set to offer the Philippines newer markets and collaborative opportunities. Additionally, policies focusing on sustainable development and green initiatives are in the pipeline aligning with global trends. In the move to lowering our carbon footprint caused by energy production, our advancement to renewables will have a lead time. In the interim, natural gas will hold the key. Tourism, too, is set for an evolution. Moving beyond the conventional, there's a thrust towards ecotourism, cultural tourism, and promoting lesser-known destinations, ensuring sustainable and immersive experiences for visitors. However, the path forward isn't devoid of challenges. Urbanization pressures, climate change implications, and global economic volatilities are areas the Philippines needs to strategize for. The future, while promising, demands adaptability and vision. Yet if the Philippines' past is any indication, the nation has the resilience, the spirit, and the ambition to turn these prospects into tangible progress. The Philippines, an archipelago of dreams, challenges, and boundless potential. From its historical roots to its promising future, the nation's journey isn't just about percentages or rankings. It's a tale of a resilient spirit, a commitment to progress, and the collective heartbeat of its people. Every nation has its story, but the Philippines, its story is one of transformation, of hope, and of a future waiting to be molded. As the sun sets, it promises not an end, but a myriad of possibilities for tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth coverage. Stay informed, and we'll see you in our next video.